I have a friend named Cassandra who was born with a platinum spoon in her mouth, never had to work a day in her life. She's been everywhere, Costa Rica, Brazil, Hawaii. Every time she takes a trip, she tells me about the beautiful scenery and the food that was either really good or made her really sick. Unlike Cassandra, I have been working since I was 15 and do not have the luxury of just packing up, leaving the country, and neglecting my responsibilities. But what Cassandra does not understand is that I too have been many places. How many of you work and work and are in desperate need of a vacation? Wish you could be like my friend Cassandra and just pack up your belongings and enjoy life? Or maybe your life is just too mediocre. You need to get out of the same old routine. The solution, reading. Yes, reading has taken me anywhere I've wanted to go. Whether it was Chicago, Peru, or Niagara Falls, reading has been my transportation. Today, I will explain three reasons reading a work of nonfiction or fiction is the best adventure a person can take. Now, don't get me wrong, Cassandra is not a brat. I love talking to her. I've known her since sixth grade, but she is spoiled. And the one thing that upsets me about her is she's too concrete. By concrete, I mean she's boring. She doesn't know how to fantasize and use her imagination because she's never been forced to. How can a person with money who's been rock climbing in a foreign land be boring? The answer? She has no creativity. All she sees is what's in front of her. Because of her lack of reading, she is not familiar with advanced vocabulary and she forgets every little thing. People that exercise their minds by reading into an adventure instead of spending money are better critical thinkers are able to learn tasks quicker, have a well-rounded knowledge about various subjects, and are very familiar with vocabulary. Studies by the Education of the Labor Department suggest that nearly 60% of students who read for enjoyment purposes have a higher ability to comprehend data and have an overall higher test score average than those who do not read. So when your boss asks you to complete some difficult task, you will not have a problem using your critical thinking skills to get the job done. Most importantly, you have a job that trusts to give you certain tasks, which brings me to my next point. Not everyone can afford the $600 plane ticket plus other expenses it will cost to actually enjoy Barcelona. That is basically months of rent that is being wasted. I don't know about you, but I like having a roof over my head. Besides, how many of you actually have $1,000 worth of free spending money in the bank? Not me. Instead, I savor my adventures in another form that allows me to keep money in my pockets. I pick up a book and read my way into my adventurous vacation. <laughs> Recently, I have been diving through a book titled Fifty Shades of Grey, written by E.L. James. As many of you may know, Fifty Shades of Grey is a book filled with sexual scenes, which, in my opinion, makes it a much more adventurous and exciting experience. In this book, the main characters travel to Italy, Brazil, England, 
and in many more places. The descriptions of the places are fascinating. What makes my reading vacation so exciting are the activities the characters participate in, rock climbing, jet skiing, amongst many other things. I personally would rather spend $20 on a good book than spend $600 on a plane ticket and another $40 on some foreign food risking my life that will probably make me sick. This brings me to point number three. Reading is an easy and safe travel escape kit. You can read anywhere. If your boss is aggravating you at work, then on your break, go ahead and take your mini vacation. Reading opens options. If you want to enjoy your adventure all by your lonesome, then by all means, read your book by yourself and simply enjoy. If you want to take your vacation to another level, then use your book to socialize. Join a book club that discusses and analyzes the characters and the story plots. Use your book to connect and get lost in your characters as well as connecting with others that have a common interest. Keep your mind sharp, be smart, save your money, and do not be afraid to take a risk and step out of your comfort zone by using your book to socialize with other people. Remember, reading is an adventure. Why wouldn't you want to go visit some extraordinary place for 20 minutes out of your day? Embrace the journey.